Hey guys, so for today's video I'm going to be showing you my favorite essential items that I bring with me in my carry-on when I fly. Everything I talk about and show you will be linked and listed below, um, and let's just do the video thing, shall we? So a really obvious one that I always have with me when I fly is my phone. Not only for things like Apple Pay and boarding passes, but also things to keep you occupied. My uh, current time-wasting obsession is Best Fiends, who have very kindly sponsored this video, so I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the game. I had seen a lot about it online, and I even asked you guys on Snapchat if any of you had tried it, and a lot of you really highly recommended it, so... Um, got it. So Best Fiends is a free puzzle game where you join objects by colour to defeat the slugs with help from these cute little Best Fiends and then each level you win diamonds, gold and other treats to upgrade your characters. I am on level 61. The obsession is real and you can hook it up with your Facebook to kind of challenge your friends. I think you can also give each other energy and stuff too so I will hook mine up so that we can you know <laughs> compare. <laughs> I will definitely be playing this on my next trip to pass the time and I know a lot of you already love the game but if you've not tried it yet you can download it for free via the link in the description box and you'll get a free five dollars worth of gold and diamonds to upgrade your best fiends to look as cute as mine do. And be sure to play all of the magical character quests to win even more exclusive prizes such as bars of gold, my favourite. So if you do have it, let me know which level you are on and if you do end up getting it, you better catch up. Oh, and this little guy is just a pop socket. It kind of makes the phone easier to hold and you can also use it to stand up your phone to watch movies, take pictures and stuff like that. My liquids or cosmetics bags are also something I always have with me. I like to bring two small ones, so one for non-liquids and then a see-through one for liquids. So in my Angela Roy case, I put all of my stick or powder products, my mini brush set, some hair ties and wipes. And then in the clear one, this is one that I got from a Pinrose perfume sampler set, awesome little case. I put all of my liquids or gels. That way I know I just need to pull that one out when I go through, um, what do you call it? The TSA thing. What's the word? <laughs> I don't know. This is also a pretty obvious one, but I am particularly in love with these headphones right now, so I did want to mention them again. So these are from Listen Sound Co. They are Bluetooth headphones. They sound amazing. They are super comfortable in my ears, which that's like never happened before. And each purchase helps them provide people with hearing aids who might otherwise go without. I do love buying from charitable brands. I think it's a great way to be able to make small changes when you can. If you're going to buy that product already somewhere else, you may as well get it from the better brand. And these can even be charged off of my carry-on luggage charging station so it's just awesome that it all kind of like works together and is really easy to use. The backs of the earpieces are also magnetic so when you take them out of your ears and kind of lay them down around your neck they just kind of clip together magnetically so that you can't lose them. I like to bring a wallet that can fit all of my essentials so my passport, cards, currency, my green card etc but something that is still streamlined so that's why I love this wallet. I also like that it's light colored so that I can find it in the depths of my bag. If you have a smaller phone, you might even be able to fit that in there too, not sure. Especially on longer flights, bringing it like an oversized hoodie or a throw or like a big scarf can be a really nice comfort. And if you're wearing something nicer on the plane because you're gonna go do something as soon as you get to your destination, it's kind of nice just to even change into the hoodie for the duration of the flight just so you're a little bit more comfortable and you can relax. You don't have to worry about like getting crumbs all down your nice clothes. Also nice for if you're flying somewhere a little colder, you'll have the extra layer when you get there or you can just roll it up and use it as a pillow. I also like to bring another pair or maybe two pairs of underwear, more so when I'm on longer flights, but it's always nice to, you know, stay fresh. <laughs> Plus, if you're also checking a bag with the rest of your clothes in, you never know when your bag can end up getting like lost or delayed or whatever. So it's especially nice then to at least have a clean pair of underwear to put on when you get to your location. So I usually pack a pair of boy shorts and a lace thong, both from the undies. They're both just really comfortable and breathable too. That's important. Today I'm drinking my mother-in-law's homemade kombucha. I think it was like basil something. Super good. Good for the gut. Sunglasses is another really important one, whether you are protecting your eyes from the sun or hiding from the world. I do think a nice pair of sunglasses is always great to bring. And something simple like these key sunglasses kind of goes with more casual outfits or nicer ones too, so they're just something I always reach for. 
Similarly, I do like to bring a hat as well for, you know, the same reasons as the glasses, but also because if you have had a long flight and you've maybe slept really hard and your hair is like doing crazy things, this way you can just tie it back, put your hat on and you've kind of got a very chic solution to your hair problem. Another obvious one, but also something that's really easy to forget, is to bring various cables and chargers with you. So, like I said, my luggage does have a charging station on it, which is really convenient. But I usually do bring one kind of wall portion of my chargers with me too. And then the rest I just bring the USB portion. Because then I can either plug it into the wall part or I can use it off of my uh, luggage. And then lastly, I just bring a small purse with me and I'll put my essentials in there that I might need during the flight so that I can put my bigger carry-on up ahead. And then I just have the small purse down there with me. And also so that when you get there to your hotel or whatever, you can just pull your purse out and it's kind of ready to go. So that is why I also like to bring a small purse in my carry-on. And I know some people do carry their purse and their carry-on like through the airport and stuff, but I usually will just put it in the bag just so it's simpler and I got more hands to buy food with. So that is it for this video. If you guys did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you again to Best Fiends for sponsoring this video. You guys, that game, wow. Definitely let me know what your must-haves are for either long-haul flights or road trips or just your kind of travel favorites. I would love to know in the comments below. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Bye.